The story of Melanie Bernice reads like romantic fiction. Born into a strict Catholic middle-class family in Paris, Melanie found little early encouragement of her musical talent. But by the time she was 12, her parents had been persuaded to allow her to receive lessons. By the time she was 16, she was accepted to the Paris Conservatory under the androgynous name Mel. At the conservatory, she met and fell in love with Amade Landini Hetik, a student, poet, and singer. Of course, her parents disapproved and promptly withdrew her from the conservatory. In 1883, when she was 25, they pressured her to marry the rich businessman Albert Domange, 22 years her senior and twice a widower with five children from his previous marriages. Three more children followed after the marriage. It is of course impossible to know if Melanie found any happiness in this match. Domange did not like music. In the 1890s, Bernice met her first love again, who was by then a respected vocal teacher and writer of music, and very married. Hattick encouraged Melanie to return to composition and introduced her to some of the major music publishers, after which her career really began to succeed. Not unexpectedly or surprisingly, Bernice and Hattick embarked on an affair which produced a child, Madeleine, given to a former chambermaid to raise. Bernice then devoted all her energies to composition. Her piano quartet was performed in 1901, and when he heard it, Camille Saint-Saëns exclaimed, I never imagined a woman could write such music. I suppose this was not meant to be nearly as insulting as it now sounds. Damange died in 1918, and Bernice took in her daughter Madeleine, whose foster mother had also died to live with them. At this point, Melanie's eldest son returned from his service in World War I and promptly fell in love with his half-sister, forcing Bernice to reveal all. Happily, in 1923, the daughter Madeleine married someone else. Melanie Bernice continued to compose through the late 1920s until her death in 1937 at the age of 79. The pieces you will hear are dedicated to Le Petit Domange, the Little Domange children, so must be from 1890s and are in a typical mature romantic idiom.